Any Snoopy fans here? I haven't watched a Snoopy cartoon since I was a kid. I don't know what's worse, having a 40-year-old guy review a Snoopy set for you, or having a Snoopy set that does not belong to you. Lego. Yay! It feels so good to be back. So thank you guys for waiting and being so patient. It's been a really busy past few months. My father is a singer, if you don't know, in Hong Kong. And when he does a concert, I have to kind of drop everything and do that. But we're done for now, and we're back. You know this always happens, man. I get so excited, I forgot to say welcome back to Rick Me Up Scotty. So I might as well do it like this. So welcome back to Rick Me Up Scotty, and I'm Scotty. Okay, back to the video. And we got some new stuff. Look behind me on the shelf. There's so many things to review for you guys. There's so many new updates and all that kind of stuff. It was really fun if you followed me on my Instagram and Facebook. I'll put the link in the description. You'll know that I actually had a collaboration with LEGO Certified Store Hong Kong, or LEGO Hong Kong, and we did a little guitar. I will explain that to you in the next video. But for now, check it out. Look, woo, this is something totally cool. Look at that. We all know who that is. So this is from a different brand called Ban Bao. Now, I did unbox one Ban Bao video, and I'll put the link here. And I've actually built that modular home. It's kind of the worst set, I think. I mean, it has some good things for, you know what? I'll just review it for you guys. So make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe, and I'll bring that to you. Now, for this, this is really cool. I mean, I was actually kind of like expecting the worst out of this, and I actually quite enjoyed it. It's a classroom and a Snoopy. Peanuts, Woodstock, yes! So this is Ban Bao's classroom. I guess we'll call it Peanuts Classroom. 7501, 595 pieces. Bam Bam, let me give you a tip. You should name these sets because there actually is no name for the set. It's not on the box, it's not in the manual, it's not even online. So I'm just gonna call it Peanuts Classroom or Charlie Brown's Classroom. Which one sounds better? But this is the classroom set and I have tons of other sets. So again, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to review more for you guys, I will do it. The build itself for the classroom was totally fine. I didn't have any issues with it. The clutch is okay, it's actually over tight on this one. The bricks are actually a little bit different from Lego. These ones actually feel the lightest. It feels, each individual brick feels a little bit different. The colors are a little bit their own style, but you, you know, you're seeing what the colors are like here. You can see it for yourself. And overall, it's okay. It's not too bad. I'm actually, the more I look at the set now, the more I kind of like it and I, it feels fun. And of course, you know, they didn't include like the front walls, the rooftop. I think it was meant to be more played for kids. And it does split open. Look at that. I always ask that question, do they need to split it open? Since it's already kind of like semi-open there, you can still go in there and, and play with it. If you don't have enough room here, you can lay it this way. And I can show you the back walls here. Very colorful. Colorful indeed, huh? So first things first, dimensions. One of you guys mentioned I should start measuring the sets to give dimensions so you guys get an idea. Here is a 32 by 32 base plate. And I decided to make this my ruler so you guys can see. If I put it right against it here, it's about 24 studs. 24 studs, should I just call it 24 studs? Height-wise, it's 13. So there you go. You can do the measurement and math yourself. Okay, so we're gonna start in the side of the room first, and it comes with this little tiny cart. This is the first thing that you actually do build. But as you can probably see already, you know, like this piece here, the studs that stick out of the plates. I don't know the words for these things, man. They stick out and they protrude a little bit more than Lego. So I think this is like trying to not be this, exactly the same as Lego. So you either commend them for doing that or you blast them for making another copy rip off of it. Oh, and by the way, you can probably recreate this using Lego pieces. So it shouldn't be that difficult if you're watching this video. So you got this little cart. I guess it's got like, I'm not sure what it's trying to be school supplies or something there. You can put it anyway here along the set. Nothing special, it's got like wheels that don't really turn on there. Got room for more things on there for yourself if you wanted to. Go fill up that cart. I do like the little speaker here, that's kind of cool. Everything else is stickers that you see, so there are no printings in the set at all. But here there's some drawings on the wall, you can take all these pieces off and then put them back on and you can adjust them yourself if you want it to be crooked or you want it to be straight. And you got the blackboard. I haven't actually seen classrooms, huh? There's no class, is there a classroom set from Lego? You got a clock up there, you got a couple more stickers here. We'll look at the stickers in close-ups. I'm not quite sure why, but the windows, they actually open inwards. I'm not sure if I did that wrong, but if I'm looking at the manual, it's showing it, uh, I'm, I am doing it right. Pretty loose, actually, this whole section. Even this part, yeah? Because there's nothing to hold it down here. But that's okay, the whole set is actually pretty sturdy itself, really tight, see? 
Good, look at that. I think that's because it protrudes a little bit more than Lego. And you got the air vents running along here at the top. These are actually different than what you see in the other bricks. And the ones here along the bottom too. I'm assuming those are air cons on the top and like the heater on the bottom here. So the back side of the classroom, we got like a ca another cabinet here. You can't really put anything inside there. They could have probably made that a little bit bigger. And you got these drawers here. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the, the look of the studs here on this particular drawer, but it does open up and you have the flower there and plenty of kitty drawings along the wall. And here you got a bookshelf. We got some books inside there. No tiles on the floor. Why it's so steady, but that's okay. This is like I said, this is more meant for kids. It's not supposed to be so detailed, but it's actually pretty cute. Like it's okay. Then you got the tables and chairs. Oh, the chairs just look low to me. You know, I've seen a couple other sets where they kind of look too low. The tables look a little bit better. And even this desk here in the front the teacher's desk looks okay. And the chair looks a little bit more raised there. And then that's it. I mean, on the back side, there's not too much going on. Plants on this side, you got a bench over here. And same deal on the other side, you got more plants. You do have a trash can here with some wood inside, so that it was a nice little touch. Other than that, there is nothing else to this set. Now, surprisingly, the stickers are pretty detailed. And you know, the sticker on the speaker and that clock are actually cartoon looking. They actually look pretty animated. I like that. So the other stickers here next to the chalkboard or the blackboard, you got like some butterfly with flowers, snowman, more flowers, and even more flowers. There's a lot of flowers. You got this poster, I think uh, this is a poster, ABC, and you got some books on the desk, more ABC books, and a one, two, three, looks like a number book. I do like the stickers along the back here on this wall. It's like so kitty drawing, but they're actually pretty cool. You got this, what is that, cat or dog, house and a boat. To the right of that, you got like a carrot, hamburger, and another like a couple butterflies flying around. And then finally on the other side, you got like picture of a castle, an elephant with a sun, no idea where that came from. And of course the football, nice touch. So now it's time to look at the figures and I was actually really pleasantly surprised. The figures actually look really cool. First up, we got Marcy. Now these definitely are not mini figures, they're totally designed differently. But for this specific licensing, this specific set, I actually quite like it. They fit really well, they look really cartoony. I love the way Marcy looks here. I love the texture of the hair. It's like, it's rubber, but it's still pretty cool. Franklin here, same deal. The face printing, the hair, he actually looks really good. And it's just, again, it's a figure thing, you know? You guys like the figure or not? And then we got Charlie Brown. Yeah, no problem with the printing on the face. I think it looks pretty smooth. I like, I actually quite like the size of the heads here. I like these, I think they're fine. The shirt looks okay in the printing. It looks just like Charlie Brown. And finally, we got Snoopy. Yeah, Snoopy moves a little bit different. His arms can move around and his head different, the body is different from the other guys. And his, even his legs move differently than the other figures. And I think that's what makes this a little bit more exclusive. So speaking of like license and rights and all that kind of stuff, there's a reason why the set is actually not that cheap. It's kind of like mid range. I thought it'd be a lot cheaper, but because they're using Snoopy, it does cost a little bit more, but we do have it available on Break Me Up. Scotty.com. So you can get yours. We're getting the whole collection. It's all available. Yes. But now it's whether or not you like this set or not. It's, what do you think, huh? You know, you're supposed to put the cart here to fill this area up, but you know, I would have to say like this part looks a little bit plain and empty. We'll put the guys inside here just to give you an idea of how they fit to scale with the set like that. So you guys can see it better. There's the whole gang chilling in the classroom. Where's Woodstock? Oh, if you want Woodstock, you have to buy the other sets. No! But um, you know what? Let me show you guys what sets are available. This is the manual that it comes with. Simple manual. It's very light, very small. And look, look at that town. Yeah, you know you want all that if you're a Snoopy fan. This is the only brand that you can actually buy them from, so you know, you're stuck with that. This is the catalog. Look, we got a little catalog. Shall we go through the catalog together? Okay. Oh, they do have a home there. So I'm probably gonna order that here. Yeah, and see how that compares if it fits with the modular set. It actually looks okay from the front. I'm not quite sure what it looks like from the back. They're, they do have their own camper set. They have a baseball set. This one looks a little bit more plain. Nothing going on there. Then you got the pirate set. Yeah, we got some pirate islands and boats and all that goodies. What else we got? Oh yeah, and you got this, the Red Baron. Y'all know you want that. I'm actually interested in this one too, because this one, you can see that, can you see that? It's like another home, but it's called Secret Agent. And finally at the back here, this is really weird, right? You get all these comic strips. 
but there's no nothing written inside. I guess you write your own story inside there. Is that intended? That's the other set from them. They have like an underwater theme and they have like city theme. On this page, they have something very similar to the city university friends set and even enlightened, they have something similar to that. So I might have to get into that too. And even more construction city stuff here. I'm actually interested in that. Can you guys see that kind of like the construction set here? It actually looks pretty cool. Okay, that's the manual. Let's deconstruct one of these. Okay, we'll take Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Charlie Brown, I'm so sorry. I got to do this to you. Pop your head off. Oh, look at that piece. That looks freaky. Oh, it's jammed in there really tight. Oh, there we go. <gasps> okay, so that's supposed to happen. And by the way, these are not called minifigures. These are called Tobies. T-O-B-E-E-S. That is really weird. Where did they come up with Tobies? They're just like, minifigures? No. We'll just call them Toby. So there you go. Charlie Brown completely dissected. Snoopy, sort of the similar similar thing. He's a lot easier because he's kind of pre-built already. So we'll just put Snoopy there and let you guys see this is how you build him. So you have his two little feet, put him the legs on there like that. You put the body on like that. Now for the arms, they're a little bit tricky. You have to kind of push them in snug, not loose. If you make it loose, this won't work, right? So you had to kind of, I'm not sure if you can see it from there. You had to kind of snap it in there because the neck piece, which is this long piece here, has to slot into those arms. If you don't do it right, it's not gonna work. So we'll snap it in. There we go. And then Charlie Brown's head goes back on. There you go. Now you wanna see what a Bandau Toby actually looks like, an original one. Oh, I'm kind of terrified to pull him out. You guys ready for this? You might need to have your drink before you see what these guys look like. This is what a Toby looks like from Bam Bao. It's like the skin tone or the color of the face or just the, the face. I think it's just the face. It's too oval here if I pull the cap off. There you go. It looks weird. Yes, it's the minifigure to scale time, even though we don't really need to. But here, let's go check out this classroom, right? Sure thing, Scotty. Let's get in there and wreck this classroom. Whoa, this is pretty cool, I like this classroom. It's very colorful. Yo, you know what, dear? It kind of fits to our scale a little bit. It's not too bad. Things kind of seem a little bit big. The blackboard's actually pretty massive compared to us. You know what, dear? This kind of reminds me of The Simpsons. Yeah, The Simpsons. Is this how we're supposed to review a set? Like, be inside of it like this? I, I guess, but you know, this is kind of cute. I like the pictures on the wall. I do have to agree, I kind of like the stickers, like the qualities are okay. That transparent thing that you can see kind of like blending in with the, the color back there. But the actual pictures themselves are very kitty and pretty cool. These drawings are better than yours. Scott, what are you doing up there? Get down off of there right now. I'm gonna send you to detention. Hey man, I'm just checking this thing out. I don't even know what it is. This might not actually be an air convent. I think it's curtains. And this is the curtain holder that I'm hanging on to. So I think it is. I'm not quite sure why they used it like this, but now that I look at it this way, I think it is supposed to be a curtain. Yeah, you know what? You actually might be right. What do you guys think? Is that curtains or is that air conditioning? Then that doesn't make sense for the thing on the bottom. I thought the thing on the bottom would be like a heater than an aircon. I'm confused now. <laughs> you suck as a teacher, man. What are you trying to teach? Yeah, we got the whole gang here. Now, wait a minute. You guys standing on the chair? Or are you guys sitting down on the chair? Well, at least I can sit. Scotty, your math sucks. You get a D minus, and you failed the exam. How dare you? <laughs> isn't, that, isn't deer so funny, you guys? No, not at all. Just me? Ah, oh, dear. What are we gonna do, man? So while Deer's talking to the guys back there, this is what the cart looks like. You know, it's, it's actually pretty okay on the size, but yeah, as you can see, like the pieces, slightly, slightly different from an original Lego brick. That's the only thing about this whole set. I don't know. I think we'll have to let you guys decide if you like this kind of set or not, or if you like this brand. Get your own parts and replicate it with your own bricks. If you have leftover bricks, it's not that difficult, but you'll still need to buy the Tobies. Oh, wow, now this is interesting. This head actually fits on my body. Interesting. This actually probably looks more like me with, you know, very little hair on the top. Yeah, I'm Charlie Brown, yo. But then that looks like all kinds of wrong. 
Why am I putting my head on this body? No. I don't know what's going on in this frame. Just ignore it. And let's get back to the video. All right, you guys, there you go. This is Ban Bell's Peanuts Classroom. I will let you judge it and see what you think for yourself. But here you are, you're seeing it there. I think it's actually pretty cool. I enjoy it and I love doing this too. Look, one, two, three, four. All right, you guys, until next time, break me out. Boing. Deer here trying to look like Snoopy, man. That's a really bad face. You look scary again. You look like the mask from Scream. Oh, these things are so hard to pry off. There we go. One more. One more. One more. This is how tight the clutch is on these things. Look. Ugh. I guess you can kind of get them off. So it did come with this little piece of paper that's just kind of telling you the bricks are safe. But do you trust a piece of paper? I sure don't. It's from China, man. Who knows? Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know if you like these kind of sets. Scotty will be back with more soon. All right, you guys. Catch you later. Bye-bye now.